On the next screen, you'll be shown the loop configuration process, which will explain the function of the master station and the steps involved during loopback. During the process, there are four key steps that you'll learn about. These are the master station receives a reset. The master station stops communicating with the loop for a predefined time. All the FCUs go into loopback. The master station finds all FCUs one at a time. Let's now look at the process in a bit more detail. The process starts when the master station is issued a reset and stops communicating with the FCUs. At this point, all the FCUs go into loopback mode. The master station now broadcasts a global message stating, respond if you are in loopback. The first FCU in the chain responds by giving its address and the master station checks to see that this is a valid address and builds a position against an address map. Any FCU found with an invalid address will be logged internally within the master station and used to give a fault indication to the operator. The master station then issues a turn loop back off command to the FCU which responded. The process is then repeated until the messages at port A are being received at port B. The master station is now talking to itself and knows that all units on the loop have been found and are turned on. The master station then starts polling all the FCUs in address order, but ignoring those with an invalid address. When the FCU is turned off, the loop bypass relay closes and the FCU is shorted out of the loop. In contrast, when the FCU is turned on, the loop bypass relay opens and the FCU now sits on the loop. Switching an FCU ensures that all loop traffic passes through the current detector. The FCU monitors the loop traffic, looking for messages designated for it. In other words, any messages with the correct board rate and with the correct address. If no correct messages are received within a predefined timeout period, the FCU will go into loopback, with the timeout period dependent on the board rate selected. The FCU will remain in operation until it either receives a command from the master station or is turned off. Only the master station can command the FCU to turn its loopback off. You've now completed the module on the PackScan loop configuration and should have a clear understanding of what a loop interface circuit is and how the loop configuration process works. When considering the PackScan system, remember there are three key elements, the FCUs, the wire loop and the master station. Loop configuration is simply another way of explaining the relationship between the master station and the FCUs. Whilst the configuration process determines what happens in the event of damage to the loop or a fault, 